Agus Suede and welcome everyone to Agus Suede back your garden with me, Michel Juno Suede. In this video feature, I'm going to show you how I'm going to recycle a sink. A sink, yes, I'm going to recycle a sink. It looks like a good sink, but it's actually damaged. So, um, I saw that someone was going to throw the sink away. And at first, when I saw the sink, I thought to myself, perhaps I could use it, you know, for for the original purpose it was made for, but in the backyard garden, like, let's just say I could build like a, a concrete stand for it and to fit it in and have it so that in case I have to like wash my hand or something. But I decided since I can't, I'm um, basically afford to do that yet, I'm just going to recycle it to actually make it into a planter. So this can work because this material will allow me to actually plant in it. I'm going to recycle it. Um, the good thing about this, I, what I love the most, I'm just going to remove the cloth. I put a cloth in the hole, but this is what I like. It's got a hole. So when I wet the plants, I can then collect the water underneath, let's say the extra water, let's say after a, a, about a, a month, I can collect that water and then give it back to another plant. It's, so it will be working pretty well. Another thing that you could use this for, you could actually use this if you have a small amount of compost material. You can recycle a, an old sink um, by putting your compost material in the sink and then just keep wetting it and collecting the water so it would be like the compost water um, and then wet your plants with it. So you could actually just use this for more than just planting but you could use it for your compost also. So you just take it like that, fit it somewhere with the hole at the bottom right here. You have it collecting in a container or something or you could just actually put this on a pail and just put your compost material in there and you know as it's breaking down you just keep wetting it and it will collect that rich water liquid fertilizer for you and then you can go ahead and give it to your plants but for this purpose I'm going to use it to plant scythe um, I've got scythe planted on my raised bed right there I'm um, not my raised bed, the stand I've got scythe planted on the stand but I want to move it because I want to plant some tomato on the stand um, so I'm just gonna recycle this and show you how I'm gonna do it Thank you so very much, let's go ahead. Okay guys, so this is the area I had in mind. Um, it's, it will start off here, this will be the footing. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to somehow make like a, 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 a um, pillar for it to stand on, okay? So I'm first going to dig a hole. Then I'm just going to add a piece of 2x4, it don't have to be a very strong piece, it's just to stabilize it. And then you take some square blocks. Better I do this instead. As I'm going up, I'll just add some soil. Okay guys, so I've got this like bucket which I'll be placing right here at the top here. 
should be strong enough. It should be fine. Then you take your sink, the sink which you recycle, and it will be sitting something like this, right on the pail right here, right there. And it should be fine. Now, whenever you pour water with your plants, some of that water will be collected there, and then you can take that water and then give it to another plant. Plant right there, you'll be conserving um, water. Okay, so we will test it before we plant it. Um, we will test it out. Now, one thing I am basically concerned about is extra nutrients leaving the soil to quick. I am not quite sure if I should use a cloth or like a um, fiber, a coconut um, husk to basically block the hole. Um, if I use this, it will allow less water to go through, um, but the water just basically be pretty clear that will filter the water well um, so I think I will use this okay because the main point of doing this is not really to collect water but if there's extra water we just want it to be collected right and then just spread this out like this right there so now that we've got our sink stabilized I'm still going to add some of that at the bottom out of there um, sink. And guess what? I am not adding soil to this, I'm only adding compost material. And I'm going to take it from the pomegranate pot because I need to add new compost material to the pomegranate pot. So I'm going to remove all the compost material from it and add it on here. So, guys, right now I'm going to remove all the compost material from here. I can maybe use my glove. And believe this or not, but this is like pure compost material that's broken down. Pure compost material. Remember, as I told you, that the plant is planted in a certain soil structure whereby I left at least six inches from the topsoil to allow compost material to break down. So, this is what we're getting to use right now. So, if it is that you do not have a big area to do your composting, you could actually just buy a pot like this and plant in it and just have a simple plant in it and then add your compost. There's worms or foams in the um, pot itself and um, that's breaking down the compost for you faster. So this is quite a lot for this small thing, but remember this is only for the side, okay? So you do not need a lot of soil. So in the meantime, while this is going to be um, draining out a bit into the bucket, let's go ahead and refill the pomegranate pot with new compost material. So you're gonna do two, one, two, and then one, two, three, and this one should be more there. Three, 
and then we've got one, two, three, four. I will see if my mother has any more scythe inside the kitchen so I could, I could just add in as I can it. Okay guys, so I hope that you encourage in some way or another to actually practice your backyard garden. Remember, it's always good to recycle anything that you can recycle to apply to your backyard garden. And if you would like to start a backyard garden and you do not want to start off too big, you could start off very small with green seasoning plants and um, start off your backyard garden. Please remember that a backyard garden in some ways can keep the doctors away and agri is out.